Okay, so let's show this window. Show off our work. So we have a button. We have an add category button over here. So let's right click on that button. And let's say add event binding. So here we're going to say click. Now one thing to note. This is a very generic on menu item click. But everything that's in this viewport is going to be able to talk to itself. But in the, in, anything in here cannot talk to anything over here in this create categories. Likewise, anything we create in the create categories cannot talk to anything in the viewport without us being very forcible. But by default, the MVVM separates all those pieces. So if it's in my viewport, I'm going to have a lot of buttons. I don't just want on menu item click because if I had a bunch of those, every time you click one menu item, like 50 different things are going to execute. So I'm going to say in menu, create category underscore click. I like that. I like this lowercase c and the underscore. It's a menu item, so it's in menu. Create category. I, I'm not afraid of long words. I'm, I type all day long. I'm not afraid of long words. You shouldn't be either. So now we have an event that when we click this button, the code in this event is going to get executed. That's awesome. So we know we have categories dot create category. And probably this should have been a lowercase c. Let's go ahead and make this lowercase c. We'll go up here, click on this guy, X this guy out, and yeah, categories dot create oh this guy here, lowercase c, I'm sorry. C. Okay, save that. Now if we come back over here in our view, we'll have lowercase categories. That's kind of the thing with the uh, EXTJS. They kinda of want you to the last word's gonna be capitalized, all the other folders are gonna be lowercase. Like C view is lowercase view. So what we need to do in architect is we're in our viewport and we're under create category. We're gonna see ext.create and our application name is bugs. I told you we we're gonna use that a lot. So this is gonna be bugs dot view dot categories. That's him right here. Dot create category. We're going to close off that single quote. We're going to put a comma and then open curly bracket. Architect's going to automatically put that closing curly bracket. Now this is a statement, so we want to terminate that statement. And in here we could do, we could say we want height. Now this is going to use JavaScript notation. So in JavaScript notation, everything is a name value pair with a semicolon in the middle of it. So I could say like 300. But I, and then I could do comma, I could do like width, 200. And if you don't, so let's say I, I don't know what my options are here. Let's let's go over here, real quick. Let's go to Cinch Docs. Cinch Docs, first one. And we're in the ext js. And we're on five one. And we want the API docs. Five one two is fine. I think we're actually on five one one. And right now we're in a. ext create so this is actually a window ext dot window dot window so we go over here and we just type in window window ext window window there he is and if I could use this mouse pad so here we go so here's all our configs we could use so here we have our uh... oh my gosh this mouse is killing me so here we have our height oh man this is a bummer our height down here and we have our width over here <clears throat> so any of these configs you could actually set on this item right here at, at design time we go back into our button. But I don't need any of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give this bar W equals. And then down here I can do anything I want to do with that. Let me say bar W 
dot show. Ah, this keyboard is driving me nuts. Terminate that. So now if we save it, let's go back to our bug tracker. Load it back up. <clears throat> now what you want to do here is Control Shift I on Windows. Command Shift I on the Mac. And go to console. So this is going to show us if we have any errors in our JavaScript. And chances are you're probably going to come across some errors. So we'll bring them up. You can also click this little tick here and put them in a different window if you have multiple monitors. You can dock them to the side over here. You can dock them down at the bottom. I like them at the bottom because I only have one screen on this Surface Pro 3. So let's get rid of all of this. Let's go back to the base. Go. We got a little menu here. Edit, add categories. Boom, there he is. <clears throat> so we're going to make a testing category. And then we hit save, <clears throat> and nothing happens. So in the next video, let's wire this up so it saves into our database.